Hey everyone, welcome back to your daily dose. And um, I feel like it's been, it's, it's been a while since we've kind of had one of these videos where I really just kind of get to sit down, talk, kind of vent. And um, I had some questions sent over from you guys on Instagram that I felt like today is definitely a day to, to have a Q&A day. First of all, happy Easter, everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying whatever you guys are doing today. I know Casey and I were headed to um, a friend's house, and then I think I'm gonna be going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow night to see what it's like to be on Easter here in 2024 at Disney World. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of sit down and relax. I've been feeling a little exhausted lately, and I needed more of kind of a day where I, what time is it anyways? It's like, it's like 4.30. And I kind of just needed a day to plan out next week's videos and what I'm really doing. I just really needed to kind of get organized and just kind of have a breather. And today was a really good day to just be here at the house, work on th some things and just be honestly lazy. And I needed one of those days just cause I don't really have too many of them. And I have a very fun trip coming on up that I want to announce my future cruise, which is next week and I haven't announced it yet. So I want to start um, sharing that and where we're going, what we're going on and for how long. And of course, some questions that you guys have sent in. Some are some questions that I've kind of been avoiding um, answering just because for certain reasons, you guys sent in some good questions. So thank you so much for, for sending in that. But Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. Thanks for tuning in each and every single day. I love you guys. It's it's a grind here on YouTube, and I like to be able to give you that whatever it is you need, your Daily Dose, your Daily Coffee, your escape from whatever it may be. Thanks for um, being part of, thanks for allowing me to be a part of your, your everyday life, which is just awesome. So with that, I think we're gonna jump into some questions here and just, just get started. I just want to talk with you guys. That's what we're going to do. Um, I just want to show you my setup here real quick. <laughs> this is what I'm working with. I put my the questions on there. And I don't know. This is just my setup. I got, I got my ducks. My good old ducks. And there's the ducks from the last cruise. And Groot. And a Walt Disney pen. First question is a good one. Do I ever plan on moving out of the Orlando area? And the simple question to that or sorry, the simple answer to that question is yes. I don't honestly foresee myself living here for my full, like for my full life, for my whole life. Obviously right now I love, love Orlando. It feels like home. Obviously I'm still from Wisconsin and that feels like home home. But now Central Florida feels like home to me as I have been here since full time. 2019 almost five years of my life I have lived here this feels like home but if we're talking the future future I don't think I'm gonna stay in Central Florida forever in an ideal world where I if I ever had the capacity or the uh, capacity um, if I was able, ever able to have like two homes, you know, because a lot of people from Wisconsin, they do this whole snowboard, snowboard, snowbird thing. I would definitely probably keep a house here, like a townhome or something, and then go somewhere that actually has seasons because I really, really do miss fall. I miss snow a lot. I never thought I would, but I do. Not, not moving back to Wisconsin, maybe just I don't know, Tennessee just seems like a really nice place to live. It's kind of got all seasons. It's beautiful from what I've heard. Colorado, no, not Colorado, that's too cold. Probably Tennessee, but again, you know, maybe North Carolina, South Carolina, the Carolinas are beautiful. I just want to move somewhere that has fall if I'm thinking about moving in the future. And I'm not even talking about the next 10 years. I'm talking about the next you know, like 25 years, that's kind of like what I really want to do if I ever see myself kind of like slowing on down, slowing down on YouTube here. It would definitely be to move to a state that has four seasons. Not that much snow, but I really miss fall and that, that smell. <laughs> so yes, 
I do see myself moving on Orlando or for instance, it could just be out of Orlando and we could go more towards the airport, more towards the, the cruise ports. I don't really know, but I don't foresee myself being here forever. That's just where I'm at in my head right now. And kicking on to the next question, is this house now your forever home? I think I kind of just answered that. No, um, I'm very grateful for where I live right now. Obviously like first time homeowner, I absolutely love it a lot, but this is my first home, you know, and I want to start getting into real estate. I want to start maybe being an investor in real estate. So it's, I kind of view this as a very nice stepping stone to be able to maybe transition in 10 to 15 more years into another place to live. Who knows? I don't know. I'm, I'm obsessed with real estate. I love it a lot. So this definitely is my forever home. Probably five to 10 years will be here again. I don't know. I'm really happy though. I'm so happy and his coffee's helping. His coffee's helping today. Am I gonna be going to the Packers at Jaguars in the fall? Jaguars, absolutely. freaking lutely I think that's gonna be the game where I wanna take Casey, but I also wanna take Casey to Lambeau. I gotta go to the Packer game this year. No way fans are butts. If it's multiple, I gotta go, but I'm looking forward to going to hopefully in Jacksonville. I've never been to Jacksonville. It'll be a nice little weekend trip too. All right, so as you guys know, most of my trips to the parks are pretty much all solo. The best tips I can do or give you guys is to just really enjoy it because I do know like most of my trips to the parks, some of you guys can relate to, some of you guys can't. A lot of my tactics going to the parks now is just kind of see what it is like every day so that you guys can kind of have a better understanding when you come here to Disney to see how the crowds are navigating, what are the crowd tendencies. And that's kind of like the, the take that I'm taking when I go to Disney World these days is just to kind of just give you a raw perspective on what it's like to visit. I kind of want to start getting into more tips and tricks. But as far as going solo, it's kind of just enjoy it. Do it whatever you want, when you want. And that's the downside of going with the group. But I feel like every time I come or like family comes, like for instance, my brother was here, I was the one who kind of just decided what we got to do. So it's never really been a battle of what do they want to do and what I want to know. But going to the parks is fun. Just enjoy it and take everything in. This is a good one too. I feel like a lot of these questions are future and kind of where I foresee my life. As you know, I did just turn 30. Where do I see myself in, in 10 years? I mean, I definitely still see myself doing YouTube, whatever that consists of. I kind of really like how the direction of YouTube is going right now as there's the young generation is more on TikTok and they're very quick with their attention span. But I really like how I'm seeing more people watch on YouTube is more and more people are loving to watch longer videos as you guys have been telling me, as my analytics have been telling me. So definitely when we go on cruises, expect longer videos because that's really where my creativity comes out because here at Disney, I definitely lack in a little creativity because that's why I'm giving more of a raw perspective because I've gone so many times. But when I go on cruises, my creativity just sparks because it's something I don't really do every day and that's why I used to kind of split up videos because I didn't want them to be so long, but now a lot of people are loving to watch videos long on a TV. Comment down below if you're watching on a TV or a computer. If you're on a TV, you might have to be commenting with a, with a phone because you know you can't comment on YouTube on a TV. I even watch on TV now. It's, it's very weird. I used to always be on my phone, but now I just love watching YouTube on TV. Also, if you're watching a lot of YouTube, I recommend getting um, YouTube Premium so you don't have any ads. And I think it's a good investment, you know. But in 10 years, um, probably I might be a dad, whether it's a dog dad or father dad. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, probably in 10 years, I would probably have my first, I would hope I'd have my first kid by then and I'll probably be like a, a YouTube family. I mean, Casey knows my ambitions of what I want to do here on YouTube as far as like um, a, um, a YouTube family. Yeah, that's the word, YouTube family. And this is where it kind of gets tricky too. Like, you know, 
there's gonna be a time where like my kids, they're gonna make their own decision if they wanna be on like a channel, like the channel, if there even is a channel, who knows what is gonna happen to YouTube in 10 years. That's why I've been kind of doing like these backup plans, doing things behind the scenes and investing. That's one of my things that I love so very much and very passionate about. It's just really fun to kind of see how the market goes and see what your picks and ah, I love day trading. It's a lot of fun. However, 10 years, it's really kind of hard to predict, but what was I saying? Oh, my kids. <laughs> The, let's say we're still around in 10 to 15 years, which I hope so. I hope um, I'm long, at least around for like another 20 years on YouTube, just, you know, just doing what I love to do. And the kid, oh my gosh, this is crazy to even think about. You know, my kid's what? 20 years? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is insane. Like 10, 15 years old or something like that. Eight, 10, I don't know. They'll, they'll, they'll already have had made a decision if they want to be on the YouTube channel. I'm not going to force them to be on the channel if they don't want to. I don't know where I'm going with this, but that's a, yeah, there, yeah. Folks looking to relocate to Florida buy, but rent, not buy any recommendations. Well, I do not recommend renting in Kissimmee. Do not rent in Kissimmee because that is rent haven and that is where a lot of vacationers are. Windermere is very nice, Celebration's nice. That's what I, I love, Windermere. Celebration because there's not that much traffic. Traffic is huge here. And maybe even um, Winter Garden too. Hamlin area, beautiful places to, to rent. It really depends on what you want to rent, a house or a apartment. And if you're gonna be looking to rent a house, you gotta look to see how long you can be renting. Cause I know here in Celebration, it's a long-term rental. They don't do short-term rentals here because they don't want vacationers running around here. I think that goes for same in Windermere as well. Short-term renters are going to be in Kissimmee, which is where you see a lot of traffic and a lot of vacationers. So I guess you kind of kind of look up like the zoning and the rules and how long you can rent a house for. <laughs> and this one I've been like avoiding. A lot of you guys ask this a lot. It's, uh, are you and Casey having kids? And when are you guys getting engaged and married? I mean, look, we're, we're going at the speed of that we want to for or relationship to keep us strong as we are, you know, growing as a couple, growing as a YouTube channel, and just really just growing also as individuals in a couple together. We're just working on, you know, what we want to work on as far as where we see our lives going. We, we, we see it together and it's awesome and I'm really excited for our future. But, you know, that's something that we're, we're keeping a little private here. And as much as I have avoided answering that question, I, I think that should just obviously remain a little bit private, even though it's kind of um, a little sticky situation since I know I share so much online and it, I don't know, there's some things that I feel like should be private until that happens. So you guys will know when, when that awesome moment happens. And obviously we've been talking about it because we've been dating for a year and a half roughly here and it's it's been, it's been great. I don't know where my life would be right now if I if I didn't have Casey. It's kind of actually hard to imagine. And I feel like that's something worth noting and saying as well. But yeah, we'll we'll let you guys know. I mean, definitely gonna film that in some capacity, talking in uh, an engagement and you know, when we have kids, we'll we'll uh, obviously share that. But that is very personal, so I think you guys will understand that. I also like how a lot of this has been advice about homes. Like I'm no expert. Um, if you want an expert, Mike Collier, I'll leave his, his information down below so you guys can contact, contact him directly. He's the expert and tell him I referred you to him because he likes to know where obviously like his business comes from. So my, my advice would be go to Mike and we're still trying to work some things here and there, we've had some meetings, some meetups on what we wanna do and what I wanna do, and hopefully some house content comes to the channel relatively soon. And I mean like looking at homes in the area. So I'm getting really excited about that. Finally, we have a question on when will the next cruise be? Well, can I get a drum roll please? Because this is going to be our first solo cruise in a long time. I'm going back on my solo cruise journey, my first one of the year. And we're going this Friday on the Allure. The Allure or the Allure, Lure. 
however you want to say it. We're going on that ship. I haven't been on it yet, and I think it was built in 2017. It's right out of Port Canaveral, so if you're coming here to Disney, it's a perfect ship for you to hop, skip, and a beat right on over to Port Canaveral. It's there for a little bit longer, and this has been on my bucket list for a while, for about a year and a half. I've been wanting to go on this ship, and I'm really excited to be going on a solo adventure. It's kind of cool. Casey and I are doing like our own little adventures. She's doing something here, and then I'm doing something on a ship, and it's going to be fun. Obviously, with Casey working a full-time job that it doesn't always kind of work out for us to go on ships together as she doesn't have the time off on Fridays or on the Mondays when the ships get back. So I think we're going to kick off the solo series with this and there's definitely going to be more to come this year as far as solo cruising goes because every month I'm attempting to go on a cruise ship. I've got about three other ones booked right now at the moment and uh, I'm looking to add some more as well. So with that, on Friday, we're gonna be going live at some point. Obviously in boarding day, we're gonna be going live and then we're gonna have the series begin on Monday because I wanna film in 4K and oh, I'm just excited. Because most mostly you guys have probably been on this journey when, when I upload on the cruise ships the very next day and that is very stressful, especially in 4K, it's not possible at all. It might be, I don't know, but I don't think it is. So it gives me some time to upload those videos and it's gonna be beginning on Monday. So we'll have Saturday and Sunday, some surprise videos along the way, but I'm excited to get going on a cruise ship again and on a big one. I, mean, I just, you guys know I love my cruising. So buckle on up and get ready for that ship. It's trip, it's right around the corner in a couple days. Very pumped to say the least. This is a cool question. What was your major hardship you experienced in your YouTube career? I feel like I even still go through those every single day. It's just the emotional roller coaster of being a YouTuber. Content creators, you know this. I've grown accustomed and used to it. It's just the always fluctuating of the day to day, you know, the views, the retention, just all the stats. And you learn to live with it. And I've gotten really good of coping with it and just saying, ah, it is what it is. I know a lot of you guys tune in my videos. You, know, you might tune in one day, you might tune in the next. And I've learned not to take it to heart, but some days I'm still just like, ah, you know? But you grow and you learn, especially since this being like my, my fourth full-time year, it's just, it's a blessing to even do what I do. But I feel like that's like one of the most difficult hardships is learning. It's that learning curve of, hey, it's okay. On to the next. And that's why I love daily vlogging because you always have a quick turnaround on what the next video is going to be. Personally, I couldn't imagine not daily vlogging and there might be a time where I decide not to daily vlog anymore and I wanna spend more time off camera, it would just probably go to an every other day format. I do not like missing a day still to this day, but I've grown more accepting to that, which is good. <laughs> Brian Stevens with a funny question here. Does your house have nice grass? Well, let me show you. I mean, no grass is really nice here in Florida. Here's the look at my grass for the very first time. It is crabgrass. It is not good grass. This is not fun grass. So now I don't have good grass, but it's not really patchy. And just wait till Halloween. This is going to look rad. And by the way, this is how the house has looked all day. Sometimes you need the really lazy days, the darkness retreat days in. That's what we have had today. And I'm okay with that because sometimes you need it. You know, you gotta have a lazy day once in a while and today was really that day. I've also been avoiding this question. How have I been doing mentally? Like I haven't been avoiding it, but like I see it all the time and you know, I've been, I've been doing good. Coffee helps. Like I feel like I've been lacking energy lately. Not motivation, just just entering en energy in a way. You don't know if that has anything to do with the daily grind, but it's that roller coaster that I've kind of been talking about. It's it's the mental, the mental <laughs> elemental. It's been it's the emotional toll that YouTube really does take on on your brain, and you do need to take care of it. And that's kind of what I was doing here today, because it kind of does sometimes just feel like a endless cycle of, okay, I gotta do something today. I gotta, I gotta do that. Ooh, this just came out, so I gotta rush on over to there. And then I gotta obviously focus on, on Casey and our relationship, and now I have a house. So 
it's been a difficult juggle recently and that's just me being completely honest i feel myself getting pretty like like a little stressed out about even talking about it it's just it's i'm personally good but i feel like the workload of the constant grind has been catching up to me i'm not burnt out it's just something a little bit different there's always something you know different that you kind of learn on this journey of being a content creator and i'm thankful for it it's just like you know it's i'm just like you guys you know sometimes i don't want to go do things but i i go do it anyways that's just life <laughs> but thank you other than kind of what i just said i've i've been i've been so good i, I feel so blessed I feel really blessed some videos I really kind of like to hit. I don't know how I'm just kind of like, I know this sense in my head where I just know to kind of like end a video. This is not one of them. I just wanted to kind of just vent, ask, answer some of your guys' questions and, and really ultimately just end the video. This one's gonna be shorter for sure. And I just got like the sixth sense I, like as a YouTuber, like, okay, I, I think I filmed enough and it's gonna be around roughly 25 to 30 minutes. This one's gonna be shorter and I, I kind of have intended that to be just to kind of just have a design. This is kind of like a design, just like a more relaxed day where I don't have to go to the parks during Easter, which I'm going to tomorrow because I can't wait to kind of see that. And it's really hard not to go to Disney on a holiday as I've been doing that forever. And I know a lot of you guys want to see it. Um, so with all that, uh, thanks for thanks for being here. And I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question or get into anything else really. I know I had a lot about the PO box, why I don't have merch or some about more about my Patreon. It's just my heart's not really in those things quite yet right now and that's kind of what I've been saying in the past year on how I really want to take the channel a direction that my life is going and stuff that I like and stuff that I enjoy doing. I know I haven't been going to Universal a lot and I, I saw a lot of you guys' feedback so I'm probably going to reverse tracks on I'll go to Universal for a lot of you guys who do want to see it too. It's not that I don't like Universal. It's just, you know, my heart's not really in it as much as I am with Disney. So like, what I'm trying to say is, I still know I have a YouTube channel here with those who love to go to theme parks, but I've been going obviously in a, in a more lifestyle type direction as well as kind of just staying at Disney. Speaking of Disney too, I need to get going to another staycation. Hopefully that's going to continue on next week. Uh, we were just at the boardwalk and I, I, ugh, I was just like, I need to have a staycation video. I love those. And now that I don't, we don't have a dog, we can do those more often. <laughs> Remember we were going to get a dog. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, thanks for listening, and I can't wait to read these comments, and I hope you guys had a good Easter with your family, your friends, and whatever it is you guys did. So with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and that was it for your Daily Dose. Love you guys. Bye-bye. One other thing, too. I like doing these videos because you kind of get to see more of, like, me be a little bit more relaxed and, like, ooh, ooh, ooh on the videos because I'm more comfortable, obviously, filming in my home than I am in, like, the magic kingdom and I have to worry about people being in my shots here. I'm just like, I can do whatever I want and I can act however I want. And that's why I kind of also, it's been a while since I've had like a more personable type video as such as a Q and A. So thanks again.